Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers. The question is, a rectangular box open at the top is to have a volume of 32 cc. So let's construct a small diagram of rectangular box. So we have a rectangular box like this and which is open at the top. So in top we don't have any area but we have area for the other sides and bottom. So this top is open. This part is open. Let's take the length as x, breadth as y and height as z. So we have taken length, breadth and height as x, y and z. As per the question, the volume is 32 cc. So volume formula is length into breadth into height. And they have given volume is 32. It means x, y, z equal to 32. Now the question is, find the dimensions of the box. It means you have to find x, y and z that requires the least material for its construction. So they are asking for the least material for its construction. So least means minimum and material for the constructions include the surface area. And surface area, since it is open at the top, the base area is only this part. That is this rectangular shape x into y. So we take this as x, y. Then coming to left side. So left side is this rectangle y, z. The same thing we have it on the right hand side also. So it will be plus 2 y, z plus. Then the front and back side is z, x. Since it is front and back two sides, so we have to write 2 z, x. So only x, y is single term. Other two terms are like left and right then front and back like two to each but here only bottom since it is open at the top. Now we have to write the auxiliary function capital F. So this auxiliary function capital F is made up of two part. One is a function in terms of x, y, z and the condition which is some lambda times of the condition is g of x comma y comma z. Since here they are asking about the least material for its construction. They are asking about the surface area as a least. So this f of x comma y comma z is surface area. So now our function, auxiliary function, this will be in terms of x, y, z and lambda. The first part is x, y plus 2yz plus 2zx plus g of x comma y comma z is this constraint. This constraint we have to rewrite it as xyz minus 32 equal to 0. So this is our g of x comma y comma z. So lambda times of we have xyz minus 32. So we got the auxiliary function where this lambda is Lagrange multiplier. Now as a first part, we have to find partial differentiation of this with respect to x. So fx, that will be xy differentiation. The constant is y, then second term both are constants of so 0, and third term 2 is that is constant. Then plus lambda into, when we differentiate this with respect to x, y z is constant. So lambda y z become. Then we have to do partial differentiation with respect to y. So first term is x, second term is 2z, third term is 0. Then lambda x z will come. Then partial differentiation with respect to z, first term is 0 then 2y plus 2x. 
plus lambda into xy. Now, by condition, we have to equate these three terms to 0. From the first equation, if I take this lambda yz to the other side, we get y plus 2z equal to minus lambda into yz. Now, if you divide by yz on the other side, so y plus 2z by yz equal to minus lambda. If I divide individually, y and y will get cancelled. So, 1 by z. If I divide 2z by yz, z, z we can cancel. So, remaining will be 2 by y. This is minus lambda. In the same way, second equation, if I rearrange and if I divide by x is z, I will get 1 by z plus 2 by, after cancelling z, we left with x equal to minus lambda. In the same way, from third equation, we get 2 by x plus 2 by y equal to minus lambda. Since all the three are minus lambda, let's equate the first and second. Therefore, 1 by z plus 2 by y equal to 1 by z plus 2 by x. So, we can cancel 1 by z on both the sides. We left with 2 by y equal to 2 by z. By taking reciprocal, that is after cancelling this 2, even this 2 can be cancelled. And by taking reciprocal, we get y equal to x. In the same way, let's equate first and third. So here we have equated equating 1 and 2. Now we are going to equate 1 and 3 because both are minus lambda. So 1 by z plus 2 by y equal to 2 by x plus 2 by y. So 2 by y we can cancel. Then cross multiplying this x is equal to 2z. Now we have x is equal to y. This is one relation. And x is equal to 2z. So this x is equal to 2z. I can directly write here. Now this we are going to substitute in the condition that is the volume xyz is equal to 32. So now already we know xyz is equal to 32. So let's keep x as it is. Instead of y I can put x again. But instead of z x by 2 equal to 32. Because from this I will equate the first and third or I can take from here itself that is the value of z is equal to x by 2. So everything in terms of x so that I can find the value of x. So this is x cube and this 2 I can take to the other side. So it is 64. 64 is 4 cube. So when x cube equal to 4 cube the value of x is 4. Now using this condition we can get the other two values. So we know x is 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4. If x is 4, x and y are equal. So y is also 4. Now if I substitute x as 4 here, then 4 by 2 will be 2. That is the value of z, which is 2. So after the question, we got the dimension of the box. So the unit is, in this they are given, it is 32 cubic centimeter. So we have to write the units in terms of centimeter. Therefore, length equal to 4 centimeter, breadth, breadth also 4 centimeter, then height, height is 2 centimeter. 